Ryan Margolis, and I am the Vice President of Programming and Events for the Graduate Student Assembly for this current academic year. Uh, the Graduate Student Assembly is encouraging all students to get vaccinated. How does the safety and efficacy of the COVID-19 vac COVID vaccine compare to other common vaccines? You know, the flu vaccine um, effectiveness is, is probably around about, you know, between 40 and 60 percent in the natural population. And, you know, when before the vaccines, as the vaccines were developing and before they were even received emergency use authorization, the FDA did a very specific thing and said, hey, we want our minimum benchmark for efficacy to be 50 percent. And I think many people forget that actually that was the target, 50%. Um, we were incredibly fortunate and really a testament to the decades of scientific work and understanding of this virus to come out in December with um, two mRNA vaccines that hit over 90%. It is absolutely astonishing. Um, and, and really want to iterate the idea that, you know, yes, you know, these are in when you're heading into the 90s, this is um, and, and really preventing death and hospitalization. This is um, phenomenal. Um, you know, we do see some vaccines that are superbly effective. You know, shingles is, is really up in the 90s. But for a respiratory virus vaccine to do this, um, it is is incredible. I will also add that as we get more information on the Delta variant, as we study the body's immune response of these vaccines. What's interesting is, is that, you know, these vaccines are able to generate such a broad immune response that they really do take care of variants as well, as long as you are getting the recommended dosing. And so I want to say in the setting of variants and people being worried, the best thing to do is to is to get vaccinated. Yeah.